I know, you've done them, chin tucks. You wouldn't have clicked on this video if they worked. They will not work to correct forward head posture if done by themselves. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to correct forward head posture once and for all in less than four minutes a day. I'm certain you clicked on this video because A, you've either seen a picture of yourself from the side or B, someone's told you you have forward head posture. How do you know if you have forward head posture? If you don't know, take a selfie from the side like this. Basically what you want to see is your ear lining up with the middle part of your shoulder. If it does, great. You don't have forward head posture. However, if it doesn't line up, then this video is going to be perfect for you. Let's get to it. I suggest you do this with me so you can feel what I'm feeling to make sure you're doing these movements properly. The very first thing we're going to do is we're going to warm up our neck with some simple neck mobility movements. For each of these movements, we're going to work at them for 30 seconds. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with rotation. Pull your shoulders back, sit up nice and tall, and just move through rotation. Do this for about 10 seconds. And then we're going to move into flexion, extension. Protraction, retraction. Again, about 10 seconds. And then finally, lateral flexion on both sides. Visualize, instead of twisting your whole torso, visualize your ear pulling up to the ceiling. That should have taken you about 30 to 40 seconds. We want to do that twice before moving on to the next exercise. So now that the tissues are warm in our neck, let's move on to the first strengthening exercise. This is much more than a normal chin tuck. To start, we're going to grasp our hands and lock them in place. Basically, we're going to take our shoulders, we're going to pull our shoulder blades back together, almost this movement of external rotation of the shoulders. Then we're going to slightly extend our head and then we're going to chin tuck. So there's three movements and we're going to hold this for 10 seconds. And relax. I'm going to show you from the side. Clasp our hands, pull our shoulder blades back together, extend our head and pull back. Hold for 10. If you're doing this properly, you're going to feel it in between your shoulder blades. For some of you with really tight pecs and anterior shoulder muscles, you're going to really feel that open up the chest. Wherever you feel it, it's the right place for you to feel it because those muscles need to be strengthened. And if it's tight in the front, stretch the front. You're going to hold this exercise for 10 to 15 seconds for three sets. That should take approximately one minute to complete. For this next exercise, typically when we're in an office, we would use head weights that will help support the posterior chain muscles. But for the modification that you can use at home, a towel. This is simply going to go on the back part, the back upper part of your head. You're gonna grab the towel, let your arms pull down with gravity. So you're just letting it sit there. If you don't engage your muscles, it's gonna pull you forward. You wanna extend your thoracic spine up really holding back and you really want to be pushing your arms forward this way so let me show you this again upper back of head let gravity do its thing pull back and then tricep extension out you're really going to feel the back of your neck and even in your thoracic spine hold this for 10 to 15 seconds before resting and you'll repeat this three times. When you take this off, you are gonna feel like you're standing up taller because of those muscles engaged. It's a great exercise and one that's gonna really help with that forward head posture. I've demonstrated this exercise seated, but you could also do the standing and it's still very effective. And finally, where most people miss the boat on correcting forward head posture is looking at the hyperkyphosis or the flex forward position of the upper thoracic spine. I have a yoga block here. You can use a rolled towel, a foam roller, anything that's gonna create a pivot point here. For the last movement, we are gonna cause some traction and stretch in that mid thoracic spine. Most people like this one because it's passive. Simply lie down, find that, that point, find that pivot point, really open up your chest, fall back over the block and just let everything open up and relax. You can leave your knees bent. If you want a little more traction through your mid back, you can straighten your legs. 
This should be held for a minimum of 30 seconds, but can be held up to 15 minutes. Obviously, if you do that, that's going to put this routine a little bit longer than four minutes, but just relax into it. I want you to repeat this routine twice back to back, and you can do it two times per day. The key to postural correction is consistency. If you like videos just like this, maybe you'll show some support by giving me a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, maybe you'll consider subscribing so you can be informed when I upload a new video. Thanks for tuning in. I can't wait to see you in my next video. Until then, stay well.